Okay, here we are again at the park, and again I've got this JNC Radio M104 multiband antenna, 20, 40, 15, 10 meters. It's got a telescopic whip, and uh, I just wanted to show you the hack for it. So in this case here, I've got it mounted to. Uh, they got the 20 meter coil on it with the base. The base is PL259. I have it on this uh, jaws clamp. Um, and I've got it clamped onto this side. Now, yeah, I know. Don't send me. Don't say, hey, John, where's your coax? I'm not going to connect this to the radio. I just want to. I just want to show you this hack here, because um, I've used this with uh, with other antennas, with a CB stud mount on it, 38-24, uh, and uh, I've used that with guardrails. And again, these 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 sign fixtures at the park. Uh, many times you go to a park, you're not allowed to put antennas up in a tree. So you do have the ability of doing an activation here and uh, just using with what you have around you. And, uh, you know, connecting this directly to this sign is, uh, is not going to be uh, too much of an issue. Uh, so, yeah, it works, uh, it works really, really well. Uh, the more of the ground area, uh, the, the better the SWR is on it. So uh, I just wanted to show you this, uh, this quick hack. Uh, for this antenna. What I did here on this jaws mount, because it's really cut for uh, a 3 8 inch uh, stud mount and bolt, is I used a bigger drill bit to uh, to make it uh, to fit the SO239 connector and then I used this uh, bulkhead adapter for it. I have another cable from, I believe it's Diamond and Comet makes it as well. There's an SO239 connector uh, with a right angle um, mount on the bottom of it to connect the coax to like i showed you with that uh that comet mount that i use with the antenna on the back of the mini cooper so here's another way of uh, hacking out your uh, your antennas uh, i would probably buy a couple of jaws one for uh, the 3 8 inch stud as it comes with and then the other one here you can modify it drill a hole use a file and make it to fit the other mount on it so a quick way to to get some things going and uh, getting a signal out on the air thanks for watching